Hi folks, so in this last video I'm going to continue working on the snake game that I was making in Python and the only thing really left is to uh, add in some kind of game over condition. So I'm going to handle that with a function. I'll come on in here and I'll define a new function and this is going to be check game over and it's going to take a game over variable. I'll define that variable to start with up here and I'll just call that game over is false and now I'm going to look for one of two conditions the first condition is going to be if the snake has eaten itself so first check if snake has eaten itself and that's a fairly straightforward check because I'm using a list for the entire snake all I need to do is iterate through the snake and check whether the head has come in contact or is equal to any of the other segments in that list and I'm going to do that with a simple for loop for segment uh, for segment in snake pause essentially iterate over the snake pause list and give me a segment which is going to have an x and a y coordinate and now I just want to do an if check if snake pause zero i.e. the head of the snake is equal to the segment so if it's come in contact with any parts then I want to give myself the game over condition so I want to set that to true now the problem with this is that as it's going to check through this the head itself is always going to be in contact with the head so this is automatically going to uh, essentially contain a bug it's going to always give me a game over because it's going to come here it'll say from segment in snake pause it will take the very first position in snake pause which is the head and that will mean that this condition is true and it's going to say game over is true to avoid that I'm just going to skip the first point I'm going to define a head count variable set it to zero and then in this if loop I'll just say if the snake position at zero i.e. the head is come in contact with the segment and head count is above one uh, sorry above zero and then just finally down here I'll increase head count by one okay so what's this doing it starts at zero and then I iterate through the segments so it takes the first segment and compares it now normally this would be true however the head count at this point is zero so that means that it skips this it adds one to the head count and iterates again but by this point it's now iterating through the rest of the snake so that's essentially captured the first part so at this point I'm checking if the snake has eaten itself but I still don't have a check for if the snake has gone off the screen so that's what I'm going to add in now I'll add a comment check if snake has gone out of bounds and again here all I need to use is the head of the snake I'm just going to compare the x and y values of the snake's head if snake pause oops if snake pause zero so the head and zero for the x coordinate if that's less than zero then it's gone off to the off the grid to the left hand side or and I can just copy this across a few times if that has gone off the screen to the right then it must be greater than screen width now I just check my y coordinates if snake position 0 1 is less than 0 then it's gone off the screen to the top or snake position 0 1 is greater than screen height then it's gone off the bottom of the screen and again game over is true so once that function is finished I just wanted to return that game over variable all right so where do I now want to call this function I'm gonna come down here and I think the most sensible place for it is down here at the bottom of this set of code so this is the code for moving the snake around so this is the point at which the snakes position actually gets updated so it makes sense to check it here so once it's been updated uh, I can run that function and get my variable back so I can say game over equals check game over and that same game over variable 
All right, now I'll just run this code uh, in case there's any errors in it. Seems okay. Uh, I'll just try running off the screen. And eating the food. Okay, so everything still runs fine. I haven't added any bugs. Uh, of course, in the background, the check uh, game over variable is working, but I haven't actually added anything in to stop the game when that happens. So that's what I'm going to do now. Essentially, all I need to do is, I mean, I still want the rest of the game to work during that time. I still want to be able to have my inputs uh, from the player. The only thing that I don't want to happen anymore is the snake to be updated. So that's this bit here. I'm just going to indent this whole section and I'm going to nest it inside another if statement. And this is going to be if game over is false. So as long as game over has not been set to true, then this should run. If I try this code again and go off the screen, you see it's stopped. I mean, there's no feedback, but the snake has stopped. So to combat that, I mean, the snake is stopping, but nothing's actually happening. I'm going to define another function. And this function is going to go underneath that. And this is going to be define uh, draw game over. Essentially, all I want to do here is output to a screen that something has happened. And I want to give the player an option to restart. So first of all, I'm going to display the fact that the game is finished. So just as before up here, I need to use a text and I convert that to an image. So game over text equals game over. Now I turn that to an image, over image equals font dot render, and again, over text. And I'll give this a color of blue as well. And I want this to have some kind of background, so I'll draw a little rectangle behind the text. I'll just use the pi game dot draw rect function again supply screen as my display window I'll make this red uh, and then the X and Y coordinates I want it to be roughly in the center so I'm going to say screen width I'll use floor division divided by 2 and minus 80 and these are just variables that I played around with when I was creating the game so you can set them to anything really depending on where you want this but this puts it fairly central I want it to be 160 pixels wide and 50 pixels tall. So that should draw a game over uh, display. In addition to this, I want to be able to have a button that's clickable. And that button is going to reset the game. So I'm going to come down here and I'll set up uh, an again button. So this is going to be again text equals play again. And again image. So it's the same as above equals font dot render and it's going to be again image or again text true and color blue now I want this to have a background as well but I'm not going to just draw a rectangle straight away because I want this to be clickable so I'm going to use Pygames built in or an additional rect function so I'm going to generate I'm going to define uh, a dedicated rectangle for this up here. So I'll say set up a rectangle for play again. So I'll call this my again rect and you can just call the rect function straight away. So all this needs is the overall size. So the start point I'll say screen width uh, divided by 2 minus 80 again screen height screen height divided by 2 and a width of 160 and a height of 50 so that's generated my rectangle up there so I can just draw it down here now I'll say pi game dot draw direct so the same as before uh, I specify a screen, a color, but now I can just call that same rectangle from up here. So I'll just say again, rect. And I'll create the rectangle, and now I want to put that text onto the screen over the over the button. So I use the blit function, screen dot blit, again, image, 
and the positions. Uh, again, I've defined these already. Screen width divided by 2 minus 80. And screen height divided by 2 plus 10. All right, so with these defined, uh, I've got my game over text, uh, turn into an image, draw a rectangle. Uh, and now I need to do the same as what I've done down here. I need to blit that uh, game over image as well. So a screen blit over image. And it's going to go in the same X position, but it's going to go higher up. So screen height over 2, I'll say minus 50. And now that this function is defined, I need to call it within my main game loop. I'm going to come down here where I've got uh, if game over is false, so this is going to be updating the snake. I'll just go underneath that and I'll say if game over is true. So if the game has ended, then I need to add certain conditions in here. And the first one is I'm going to draw that function. Or sorry, I'm going to call that function, which is draw game over. And what this is going to do is display that game over and play again button. So I want to add in a mouse click interaction so that we can click the game over or play again button and the whole thing resets. And I'm going to do that using Pygame's built-in functions again. So I'll go back to handling events. So if event type, and this time I'm checking against Pygame dot mouse button down. So if the mouse has been clicked, and I'm going to add a variable which is clicked equals false. So I'll define this up here first in my main game variables. Clicked is false. It's just a way of monitoring uh, the mouse clicks to, to make sure that I'm not just holding down the mouse button and continuing to uh, execute whatever's in this code. So if that's clicked, then I just set click to true, meaning that I have triggered a mouse click. And then I take this, copy it down, and this time I'm looking for if I've released the mouse button. Therefore, the click has been completed. So if it's true, then I set it back to false so I can reset that cycle. And now I can actually execute the functions. Now, before I do this, I want to make sure that the mouse is actually within that, again, rectangle. So it's not just clicking anywhere on the screen. So I'm going to get the mouse position. I'm going to store that in a variable, which is pause. So I'll say pause equals pygame.mouse.getPause and this is going to give me the x and y coordinates of the mouse. Now we can have an, an if statement that's going to check if, uh, if the mouse was within the rectangle. I say if again rect, which is that rectangle that I created and I used the uh, collide point function I believe it's called and I feed in the pause variable then it's essentially saying that the mouse has been clicked and it's been clicked within that again rect rectangle. So now I'm just going to reset all my variables. And that's how the game is going to be reset. So I come up here to where they originally defined. I copy all these down. And actually I'm going to include the snake because I want to recreate a blank snake as well. I'll come into here, add that in and just indent everything. All right. so direction should be set to 1. Uh, update snake 0, there's no food. Uh, clicked I can take out because it's already been defined and then I create a new snake. So that should be everything. I'm just going to run it in case there's any typos in there. So it seems to run okay. I'll try eating the food. That still works fine and I'll try running off the screen. Ends the game, game over, play again. And there you go, it's clicking and it's allowing me to reset the game. So that's pretty much it. And I'm sure this could be optimized further and additional features could definitely be added. But I just wanted to create the kind of basic mechanics of the original Snake game. So I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.